So, this will be a review on Seattle versus Portland. What the hell was that? Okay, so the first thing I need... I'm gonna shut this damn thing off. Okay, the thing I need to say... What the hell are you thinking? What are our players doing? They're literally just running around with no passion. Sure, Yamar was probably the only good player today. Okay? Or last night. I don't even give a crap. I went to bed soon after. Cried myself to sleep. Because this should not happen. Portland have a toxic environment. Take advantage of that. Take advantage of their toxicity in the locker room. They shouldn't be able to win against a team like ours. I just don't get it. I, I'm confused why Jackson Reagan came on, but he did almost score. Yamar was probably the man of the match for the Sounders. He had a goal. He was good all game. That penalty was not a penalty in the chokehold by Williamson on Montero. If the Yamar penalty was called, then why isn't that? The refs are out to get us, but I'm not going to blame us entirely on the refs, even though they're a big part of this. Brian Schmetzer, listen. I know you're probably not going to watch this, but you need to do something with our defense in our midfield. We've lost two of our best midfielders. Rolled on and Jao Paulo. Arguably, Obed Vargas somehow, the 16-year-old, is probably going to play better than everyone else combined tonight. You need to find a way to get Rui Diaz the ball more because he's just up running. He hardly had the ball tonight. When he did, he actually looked pretty dangerous, but he's the one player that looked dangerous. Albert Rusnock, he is wonderful on the ball, and again, but he can't finish off his own possessional plays. You need to fix something with the midfield, and you need to try to get everyone to understand that you shouldn't shield the ball when they're about to score. You should just make sure that your man doesn't get the ball. It's not about being the entire team. That's what the one, that's what I think Kellen Rowe or Nuhu was on that goal for Sebastian Blanco. What was that? They think that they're supposed to be literally the goalie without hands when you're just supposed to block um, Blanco from having the ball. They think they're one in a million when they're supposed to be one in 11. I'm not saying like that in an ego, but they think they're sometimes they're the whole defense, I feel like. That's not right, that's bad, and that's why we're losing. Second, our formation is good. Our formation is okay. Brian, your tactics are good, but we just can't. I don't know why. Brian, what is this? You need to fix this team, okay? It's embarrassing. We can't. We just can't miss the playoffs. We won a Champions League. Please. Do something. I know you're trying, but as a Sounders fan here, I'm desperate now. We are desperate for three points for the next five games for a decent playoff position. And with it so compact in the bottom like it is right now, anyone can steal the show and get the points. Like Portland might be now, because we just gift the refs also kind of gifted them a win. Ryan. You need to have a talk. I know I'm. you think I'm talking about with the team. I'm talking about with the refs and VAR and that stuff. It's all messed. I don't even care about my hair. This is just, it's as bad as our team is right now. So we need to figure this out. Um, Sounders fans, you've always been supportive, even in these harsh times. So obviously from all my heart, I thank you that you guys are always the best. But these performances aren't really what we want this season. We need to find a way to fix this quickly. Otherwise, we're not going to make the playoffs. And we're going to have to bow down to fucking Portland Timbers. I don't want to do that. Okay, guys? So, I'm not editing this video because right now I'm too depressed. I'm not going to pull a whole on, a full on pissed off rant right now. But I'm steaming and i literally screamed cussing out i just cussed out portland at the top of my lungs in my own home for about 20 minutes straight throwing away my not throwing away but throwing my scarf all over but just it was so enraging portland doesn't shouldn't have won what is the ref doing 
What is the referee doing? They're always out to get us. I don't see why. <laughs> I really don't see why. Who was the referee for Champions League um, in the first leg of the final? He was okay. He, It felt like he was bribed. I'm not going to say he was, but it kind of felt like that in the first half. But then he was like, hang on a minute. This is wrong. This is a Champions League final. We have to give them a light one as well. That ref did okay. I don't even think the refs were good in the final. Like, the second leg either. It's just... Again, refereeing and calls are a very big part of the game. And if we can't get the right ones, we need to just find a different league. We need to fire all the refs. We need to just get more fair and equality. This is why Manchester City win every single fucking time they play in the Premier League. The refs are always fair, okay? The refs are fair. VAR is great, okay? But mainly, Man City's good, and they can show that because of the referees. I swear, every single referee that we've had in a game has tried to ruin us. But again, not only that... Our team isn't performing like they should be. We have arguably... We have probably the second best team with um, quality and talent. Number one's obviously LAFC. I just don't see this happening. I don't want to see this happening. Please make the playoffs. That's all I have to say. And also, I have made a little list of... Um, um, signings that we should try to get. One is Paul Pogba. He's getting old. He's not performing at the very highest level anymore, you know. He's still good. He'd be a knockout in MLS and he'd help us keep us possession and do things like that because of his experience and because it would be a very big morale boost and I would put him in for, I want to say, <laughs> Callan Rowe right now. Uh, who's our other midfield? We would have to switch formations or put rolled on on the bench, but that's fine. It's Pogba. Uh, another is Paulo Dybala, maybe in a year. I mean, that would be extremely expensive, but you have to try, guys. Another would be Danny Ings. I just think his experience, he might be on the bench, but his experience would drive our team, and he would be very good in the locker room. Um, another might be Hugo Lloris. In about two years, because uh, Stefan Fry might retire in two years. He's getting up there. Um, another, oh, yes, yes, yes. I would say try to get um, Federico Bernardeschi from Toronto. I know it's probably not going to happen. And also, Ronaldo. <laughs> See if he might want to come to Seattle. I mean, he's, he's of course, 37. He's going to retire, but he would give us such a boost, okay? There, there are so many possibilities for top world-class players that aren't that old and that are older, but I just don't know what is going to happen for the Sounders next, and it's going to be quite hard for our team in the next few years if we cannot pull this together. So I just want to hear what you guys think in the comment section, and obviously my opinion is just mine, um, but please, guys. We need to do something as a fan base. As a fan base of the greatest team in MLS, we have to do something. And we have to do it fast. Otherwise, <laughs> obviously the rest of the league is getting better. And here's where I'm getting really mad. We're being left out of what the rest of the MLS is doing. Bernadeschi, um, Chiesa, Chiesa might be coming to MLS in about five years. No. Um, Bernadeschi, Insigne, Chi um, Chiellini, fucking Bale, Gareth Bale, Ricky Puig. Are you kidding me right now? Hector Herrera. We need to get really good players and fast. Maybe Raul Jimenez would be a good signing. I don't know. Just, I'm just in shock and pissed off right now. So just leave in the comment section what you guys think, and yeah, have a good one.